Hello, welcome back to another video of my new series World of Tanks Blitz Tactics. On this video I want to talk about the 263. Probably also one of the tanks that are not that much played in this game. I honestly don't know why, because I, I really like this tank. It's uh, just... The DPM is great, the gun is pretty accurate. Even though not the most accurate, especially as you shoot on the move quite often, but uh, still it's uh, a very likable tank. Also the, the armor is uh, very strong, especially especially with the space armor gun mantlet that uh, often bounces shots that should penetrate, but still you're never really safe, so it's not completely reliable. You should keep that in mind so you can't really go hull down or basically every tank can penetrate your gun mantlet with heat or APCR no matter what the what the premium ammunition is. But uh, yeah let's talk about the, the topic of this video a little bit more which I want to call fighting for the map. Alright, here you can see uh, the, the E100 announced to go right. I get why people do this, as um, it does make sense to counter the mediums, especially in encounter battles, which this is not, but still, a lot of people in the upper bracket, like uh, over 50%, I would say, they know it causes a lot of problems when you can't push the heavies and mediums flank, but what they want to do is just counter the mediums at all costs and then they camp in the bag like my heavies do here in this game. Um, but now the E100 luckily moved. Uh, in every case I would not camp in the bag with a heavy, it does not make sense at all. Because all the mediums and lights will have to take the shots while you would also not have the most accurate gun in the heavy. So you are not the best sniper either way. But if you have seen some of my games and uh, videos already, you know that I'm no fan of camping. Not even in the worst armored tanks, so you should make more use of your tank. As camping... Yeah, you can camp, but uh, it just means that you have no idea how to play otherwise. Alright, here I got a lovely Amarok. That's... Uh, <laughs> Very lucky here, but I do not doubt that I would be would have been able to farm the Leo, as he was not the best player, obviously, and he was just peeking out frontally. But uh, yeah, okay, this uh, one went a little bit faster than expected. So I now see the chieftain flanking to my left, and as you've seen in the beginning of the game already, I was uh, very afraid of their heavies going to the left as I did not have any spots at all. And clearly on this side, uh, on this map, like on any other map, you have no chance when you all camp in one corner of the map. Of the map and uh, yeah, as soon as we cannot push anymore while the enemies flank, through the mid, they can crossfire us, and we don't have any chance at all to come to come back. Come back then. Uh, we would have to uh, go back into our spawn and rotate all the way back, which most of doesn't work. Okay, what I did here was uh, I noticed that the E1 and uh, and KPZ went to our back, so uh, I had to decide. Either I take the shot, the shot of the chieftain, or I shot, take the shots of uh, the KPZ or E1, which is uh, 550 alpha, so a lot more than the chieftain shot, even if he shoots me with HG. But uh, yeah, you do not want any big gun in the back, and sometimes you just have to decide: do I take the smaller alpha shot or do I take the bigger damage? And in this case, obviously, you should decide to take the smaller shot and clear out the other gun or try to bounce it. So I just went back and the heavies are not that fast, so they won't run away. So I can just leave them in place and come back after. After I quickly cleared the E1 and object. And if you notice, I could have rammed the object 704 maybe, and if I hit my hit the E1 and rammed him, 
he uh, would have maybe not been able to clear my other my other teammates. So two of my teammates just basically died because of me. Yeah. But alright, that's not my problem anymore. I could still carry this. And let's go for the next game. As uh, you've seen already, taking some uh, map control is very important, cross-firing. And this is also what this game will show you in a short time. As you can see here, I move to the back, to the right side with my mediums, as I usually do. As the uh, seaside here is just... Uh, it's not necessarily easy to, to win on this side, but I, I still think that this is the better side. Uh, but I notice my team is split. Heavy is going to the left, as they often do, but uh, when they go to the A side, they will probably camp there and won't help much. Uh, so I have to be very careful. I'm thinking about okay, I will place one shot and then I back off and run. But as I notice all my all the enemies are in front of me while my heavies are on the left, I decide to just push in here because I know okay if I get pushed I can fall back into the mid. I can just go for B and have heavies right behind me. So if they will come, I will have a lot of backup. Alright, uh, very important what I do here is that I do not shoot the 100, or at least I try to not do so. I go for the IS-7 because I know the heavies of my team will have the IS-7 in front. And if I kill the IS-7 as fast as possible, if I help my heavies, they will sooner be able to help me. And otherwise I would have to 1v1 the 100 and the heavies would they, they would actually 2v1 the i7, but if the i7, even though he's a camping noob, to be honest, uh, it might take a while for them to take him out, while the enemies are very aggressive in the back. You can see it on the minimap, they are pushing into our spawn and killing everyone there. So it makes sense to uh, try to be as fast as possible. Alright, new situation here. Enemies are. Uh, still pushing and my team is very splitted so I could do uh, I could go for the mid here and just farm them or just fight them but I know okay there was the Jaggy 100 in the back I do not want to get HE in the back so I go for him and I do not want to risk to get pins up from two sides and uh, luckily he's AFK otherwise I would have to 1v1 him maybe had some help from the heavies, I don't know. But uh, yeah, just uh, go for him as he might wake up later and he might arrive in my bag, which would hurt a lot. So, notice also that I try to get a bit forward to not get shot in the back from the others while shooting Jack. And uh, now I can just uh, go in again and I'm lucky that I get tracked here, but yeah. Game is over. In most of my games, it's actually that the case that the most exciting and the closest part is uh, in the mid of the game, not in the end. Because in the mid, I just go very aggressive after I have the spots in the beginning, and then I decide whether we will win or not. And uh, it just depends on whether my team comes with me or not to there. So, I rarely have 1v3 situations that I could be able to win. Mostly it's uh, my, my team dies first and then it is 1v6 or so. So no chance at all to win this one. And let's go for the next game. I save this for the end as I mostly do in my videos. I save the good games for the end. and. Uh, yeah, this one is actually, I think it is Hall of Fame number 4 currently. But uh, to be honest, it's um, quite easy damage. You will see it in a second. And again, I try to uh, first get in some spots before I do any move. Let's go for this balcony over here. 
and um, what's out of uh, maybe if the enemies go towards the A side I would see the heaviest crossing here to the right also if they go for C maybe see the tortoise now often uh, you can see heavies there that was just a pathetic snapshot but never mind if they go all for C you see the mediums cross over there in front of you so it just makes sense to go here with the medium or TT if you have some armor if you're heavy I would not recommend, recommend this I mean you can do this too but uh, actually just go into C and uh, face with the enemy heavies just try to quickly get into the fight and uh, yeah I'm struggling a bit with my gun depression if I manage to get my gun down a bit further I could have tracked the 100 earlier maybe not perma track him but keep him in place a little bit longer but now I have to decide okay I can go for the heavies but I also see that I have one medium on the right side while my heavies are very passive if I went for the heavies on the left I would be the one to get focused because I would be the only one in front then. So I decide, okay, there's a T-54 and the, the tortoise on the right. So, yeah, while my T-55, which is in the A-cap, clearly is not the smartest because you should never go into the A-cap here. Yes, there can always be some camper behind and just killing you fast without you being able to shoot back as he has a bash in front and you won't get spotted uh, before shooting. Uh, yeah, I decide to clear the T-54 here, which is uh, quite easy, <laughs> as you can see. Go for some class fire shot, and now I'm back and I decide to face the tortoise and Leo. I would um, actually rather kill the Leo, but uh, yeah, the Leo tries to run away and hides a lot behind this house here. So I go for the easy target first. Which is also something that you should keep in mind uh, if there's an enemy hiding in uh, front and you can't do anything about it. Just go for the easy targets first, so just kill the heavies uh, if they are easy to farm and don't waste too much time on, on the enemies that just hide from you. And also Concerning the topic of this uh, video, you can see I try to clear the flank and help mediums on the right. Basically, I did everything alone here, but uh, yeah, I, I tried to help. <laughs> uh, I don't know if they even helped me, maybe with a few shots from Leo. Yes, but uh, okay, I, I decided to go in here and I could actually just YOLO in, but as I have 750 HP only, they could double tap me and take me out quickly. So I think, okay, I would just uh, rather play it safe and get to their back first. Now I can just go in and farm them, as they can't do much about me here. Luckily, E75 is a small rifle gun, so I know even if it turns now, I can still take a shot. And um, do not want to get shot by I7, of course, as he only needs uh, an average roll to, to kill me here. Alright, and now for the last enemy. Shot into the back, and yeah, that's it. Yule Ring in the Object 263. Not much of using the armor, as you should not do so, because, yeah, as said, it's not reliable. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you to see you soon. Subscribe and like the video. If you liked it, of course. Otherwise, leave some feedback in the comments. And also don't forget to join the Discord server to, so to see our replays and share some games on your own. I'm still trying to find replays for more commentaries and videos on tanks or certain topics. I will see. Thanks for watching.